Good morning, Skywatchers. What is up? What is up indeed? Well, I'll tell you, my head's not screwed on straight this morning. I woke up extremely dizzy. Anything I picked up, I dropped. It's, it's a strange morning. And, you know, I'm a fairly coordinated guy. Well, I opened up my Chrome browser and took a look at the next rat over here. It's just a mile uh, away from the cabin. And uh, you can see all the particulate matter swirling around. You know, it's showing like there's rain or, you know, something in the air. Well, I'm out here. When I woke up this morning, it was beautiful, blue, and it was sunny. And I'm sure I opened this video up with a photo of this big, long, huge trail just in the southern sky. Well, now it has expanded everywhere and it is cloudy. All right. So, you know, if you got ringing in the ears and everything, take a look at your next rad tower. Uh, see if it's swirling around particulate matter. I'm sure that little video is playing right now while I'm talking. Um, but boy, how about that... Uh, storm in texas last night uh, especially houston what almost 100 mile an hour winds what did i see there's uh four people dead i'm just looking here yeah four people dead a million without power and 100 mile an hour winds that's weather warfare guys you know these things aren't natural they want you to believe in these natural cycles and you know i did for a long time i was in to uh pull shift and grand solar minimum and all these different uh, fun. You know, these things are a lot of fun. You study, you learn about the cycles and the sun and the planet. And then when you get into uh, weather warfare, you start seeing, you know, all this reflective particulates, uh, particles being put into the chemtrails to reflect the sun back up and, and the sunlight back up and out to space, which, you know, it doesn't go out to space. It scatters across the top of the atmosphere and creates that blinding white light that we all see. And we all got to wear these sunglasses. Well, I do because, well, because it hurts my damn eyes. Anyway, and these are, these are prescription sunglasses. Um, they're not stoner sunglasses. Um, so yeah, guys, weather warfare, you know, I'm going to show you some video of Doppler next rad, uh, creating these storms, you know, forming it around the city and keeping it at bay. They can also let this stuff go and just, you know, attract it, you know, all these heavy metals. These Doppler next rads shoot a sustained beam, an electron beam. And it is steerable, and they can move things. Uh, I have a clip. I'm, I'm going to play of Raytheon. I don't know if I'm going to find it right now, but Raytheon, Jim Lee from Climate Viewer is at this expo, and he's talking with the Raytheon guys. And they show him their big 3D animation and their uh, virtual reality goggles. And the guy tells Jim, he says, yes, these electron beams are steerable, and the rest of the beams that you see are monitoring 360 degrees. So they got steerable beams. Um, it's no hoax, guys. The Doppler Next Rad Radar hoax that I've been seeing this week. And I've been getting quite a few messages about it, too, asking me, what the hell is going on? There is a lot of pressure out there from a lot of different organizations and I think some people might cave into it, you know, and take a back seat to their initial claims. Well, that's not me. I study this stuff every day. As most of you guys know, you've been with me for a year or two. I know some of you guys have been here uh, since I started the page. Thank you. It's been great uh, having you guys along for the ride. So what else did I want to talk about today? The system, they want you to feel that apocalypse. You know, these questions I get, what's the end game? What's the end game? The end game is a simulated apocalypse, okay? 
Uh, CERN's calling forth the beast, cracking holes in the magnetosphere, um, weather wars. Uh, I mean, they can make lightning. I got tons of video where, you know, even on the regular news, they talk about how they can create lightning anytime, anywhere, and they can direct it to a dime spot. You know, it's, these guys are advanced, you know. Uh, none of this, the stuff I talk about, I research, so you guys can't come back and say, Ed, you were wrong. Alaska Skywatcher, you were wrong. I try to keep that from happening by doing hours and hours. I mean, now I'm at years of research on this stuff, okay? Uh, I'm really happy to see no one's getting on my channel anymore going, it's Nibiru. <laughs> I'm glad to see those guys are gone. Um, when you see these big round clouds in the sky, that's they spray these chemtrails, right? And then they take these incoherent scatter of radars. And this is what you guys got to look for. You know, everyone talks about harp. Well, we need to look at a much smaller version right in your local area. And they're even portable, okay? They can hook these things up to a back of a truck and take off into a farm field. Incoherent scatter array radars. <clears throat> You got Nexrad, it talks to clouds and uh, they can control movement. Uh, and then these ground units, you know, they kind of lay flat there. They're pointed up like that. And uh, I'll show you a picture of a scatter array radar. And uh, these things will heat up that those chemtrail materials above you. And that, that's how you start seeing these scalar waves. You know, people talk about uh, the scalar waves, right? And they're only made by harp. Scatter array radar. Check it out. Uh, and, and I'll do more on this. Uh, this is our secret ingredient, the thing that's missing. While people are talking about harp, you know, harp is located in Gakona, Alaska. It's right up here, be, you know, down the road a few hours from me. And right over here is uh, just five miles down the road is Poker Flats research facility and that works in conjunction with harp and then so does i'm sure the military base the um the university you know i've had the question before do you really think college kids are changing the weather yes uh, they don't know what they're doing right these are just kids and they're doing skylab experiments i mean go ahead and look at the curriculum it's skylab experiments and they're doing it right here um, and then I see other people posting stuff like the military sold harp that happened so damn long ago. I mean, I couldn't even tell you what 2015 or something. I'm not sure of the year. Uh, you get so many facts and figures and stories running around up in my skull. Sometimes it is hard to remember unless I wrote it down and I'm specifically talking about it. But anyway, so they rent harp out, right? I don't know how they do that. Um, but, you know, this stuff is all coordinated. And it's not only in Alaska. It's the whole country, the whole continent, and it's the whole world, okay? Um, these auroras, these are created. Everything is created. Like I said, I was in the pole shift for 10 years. And, man, I loved it. I thought I was learning something. Well, I did learn a lot, okay? I learned how they cover up weather modification, uh, weather warfare, uh, when you start really getting into weather warfare and you learn about this and you compare it to the information that you hold for pole shift, you can clearly see that pole shift information, most of it belongs to weather warfare. Oh, yeah, excuse me. You know, when these um, atmospheric events are happening, boy, I get dehydrated. I mean, I drank a gallon of tea the other day, and I don't know how much water with it. and uh, Always a pot of coffee or two. So anyway, what else did I want to talk about here? We talked about the particulate matter swirling around the next rads. Just notice when it's a clear, sunny, blue day, and your ears are ringing, and there's something wrong with your head upstairs there. Take a look at that next rad. You know... It, it's spinning particulate matter in the air and it's directing it, whatever its job is. You know, this science is so, so complex and difficult. Uh, most people are not gonna 
have an easy time understanding some of this stuff. It, it's difficult. Um, but I'll tell you what, you know, I, it's Friday. I should be at work right now. Uh, work has slowed down to the point where it's almost non-existent. And that's why I, part of the reason I'm doing these reports, you know, I'm hoping, you know, some of you guys will kick in a donation or two here, buy me a coffee. Uh, and then, you know, if those donations keep coming in and I'm able to uh, do a little something, I'll keep doing these reports uh, three times a week, maybe even daily, depending on what's happening. But yeah, buy me a coffee. It helps and it'll, it'll give me the motivation to get out here and do these reports or in my den when the days are stormy and cold and windy. All right, I'd like to thank Mandy Burroughs for buying me a coffee and Alex Hammer. Wow, thank you. Buying me a coffee really helps keep things going around here. Thank you. So just be ready for explosive storms, explosive fires, you know. Yesterday, my power went out for about three hours. You know, I got this little guy right here. I got the uh, solar panels that go with it. You know, this keeps my small items charged. I got my weather radio communication tool there, flashlights, uh, lanterns. You know, always think about self-defense. I always think about self-defense. It's not that much is gonna happen right where I'm at, except maybe a bear's gonna break through my door. Could happen. I've had wolf come up here. And they just stand right at the door and look at me like, what the hell? And I swear, that's when harp, you know, is going off because the rabbits and the squirrels right now, uh, instead of scattering or moving away from me, right now they're running up to me and it's been this way all week. I've never, you know, when I walk out the door and rabbits run up to you, that, that's a little strange. Uh, and then I had a squirrel almost land on my face the other day. Um, I'm surprised he's not here right now. So anyway, guys, I think that's all I wanted to say this morning was this next rad thing, it isn't a hoax. Um, I know there's some leaders in our community. <sighs> They're not standing strong, man. Uh, and there's a lot of pressure out there. You got to be strong. Um, you got to double down. I mean, if it was wrong, it's wrong. But I'm showing you proof. Why? We're doing this. Uh, I got some video rolling, I'm sure, uh, of the next rads swirling storms doing their thing. You know, if that's a hoax, then harp's a hoax, and all of life is a joke. Um, no, this is real. I don't, I really don't care what uh, some of the leaders in the community are saying. Um, I know what I know. So, I think I have a little thumbnail of this. Uh, the climate scientists want to call the human population with a pandemic, or you know, they'll come up with they'll come up with about fifty different things, maybe more. Uh, this is where we're at now. I say simulated apocalypse because that's what it is. Um, and I know someone come on. It means a revealing. Yes, I know what apocalypse means to reveal and a lot has been revealed and more will be revealed i mean we're barely into this thing right we're only a few years into the apocalypse so stay strong stay prepared i mean just make sure you have everything you need um when the power goes out here i'm kind of happy really i am it's so silent everything's beautiful my mind can relax um I love when the power's out. I didn't even get my generator out yesterday. There's, I didn't want to hear that noise either. I didn't need it for anything. But it would have, if it would have went any longer, I would have hooked up my freezer, my refrigerator uh, to the generator. But it came back on it just in time. So just stay aware and be prepared. What did I have? Is Doppler next rad a hoax? 
No, it's not. Uh, and I'm going to show you some clips in upcoming videos really soon. I just, I couldn't find it this morning. I know I have it somewhere. Um, and when you read some of my scientific papers that I'll include with these things, uh, remember the word anomalous. So when you're reading these scientific papers and they talk about anomalous heating uh, that HARP does, um, the anomaly, the anomalous is coming from their facility, okay? Just remember that. So these scientific papers can be really tricky to read. It took me a while and I'm still not great at it. I mean, that's not something I wanted to do. I just had to so we can get these things straight. But, you know, the focus here, at least for me, it is on the Great Reset, Weather Warfare, Depop Agenda, um... What do I do to combat that? I should probably talk about that. Um, I wake up every morning. I try to smile. I kiss my wife. I have our co coffee with my wife. And, you know, we start our day and it's on a positive note. Uh, all the stuff in the news, all the stuff that's happening out here, it doesn't get inside me to the point that I can't enjoy my life. I, enjoy your life, man. They, they want to stop us from enjoying our life. I'm going to enjoy it as much as I can right up until my last breath. Anyway, it's Friday. The weekend is here. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Just keep an eye out for, for storms and fires. and You get it, right? That's what they want, you know. So, I think that's all I had to say for the moment. So until next time, stay aware, be prepared, keep looking up. But I, I don't know of any of these so-called liberals that listen to anything but their own mouth. Pardon my English. <laughs>